I'm going to give you a totally counterintuitive tool to help people change behavior. This is called using small amounts of money to create large changes in behavior. Tiny little amounts of money to create large changes in behavior. Over the years, would you guess most of those big fancy people I've been coaching, you think they've been mostly women or perhaps men? Eh, that would be mostly men. Mostly younger or a tad older? Yep, a little bit older. And mostly poor people or would they be rich people? Yes, mostly the rich. Let's tell the truth. Over the years, who's most of the people I've been coaching? A bunch of rich old men. I was teaching a class at Dartmouth. A woman raised her hand. She goes, any single ones? <laughs> well, they're mostly a bunch of rich old men. Now, there's a common misperception about rich old men. What is it? A lot of people believe rich old men would not mind losing tiny little amounts of money. That would be wrong. Rich old men hate losing any money. Watch them play golf. They just can't stand losing. It is shocking how well this technique works. And I'm going to give you examples. The first one is called destructive comments. Those unnecessary, nasty little comments about our coworkers. Destructive comments. How many of you have ever heard a sermon that sounds like this before? We want to create an environment where people reach out across the company. Reach out. We want to build positive, synergistic, win-win relationships with our colleagues. Why do we like those silos? No, we must tear down those bad silos. Every company preaches this. What happens to all this corporate happy talk and we stab our colleagues in the back? Just make things better, a little bit worse. This is a bad, bad, bad habit. Now, I don't want to sound like I'm preaching at you. I also get feedback. And if you read my bio, you read all those fancy awards I won, well, I'm going to help you. None of those fancy awards came from my staff and none of those awards came from my family. I'll never forget when my daughter Kelly was 14, she goes, Wall Street Journal, top 10 consultant in the world. She said, Daddy, I want to be in your field. I said, Kelly, that makes Daddy proud. Why do you want to be in my field? She said, the standards are low. <laughs> well, I'll never forget the first time I got feedback about myself from my own staff. One item was called, avoids destructive comments about other people. What score did I make? Eight percentile, eight. 92% of the people in the world did better than me. And I wrote the test. I go back to my staff and say, staff, overall, I'm proud of my feedback. I feel good about this and this and this. There's something I want to do better. Well, that business of not bum wrapping people. I teach everybody else not to do that. I said, I've been one of the worst offenders. Then I got all gung-ho. I said, if you ever hear me make another destructive comment about a person or group, bring it to my attention. I'm going to pay you 10 bucks because I'm going to break this terrible habit. I gave him a pep talk because I thought I'd be embarrassed to ask for the money. Pep talk wasn't needed. They tricked me into making nasty comments so they could pick up 10 bucks. I no more given this pep talk than one of our clients called. He said, we need this and this and this. I said, he wants something he don't want to pay. It's cheap. 10 bucks. My partner, Tim, called. I said, that fool, how to get a PhD? He doesn't know anything. 10 bucks. An hour later, 10 bucks. By noon, I've lost 50 bucks. Locked myself in the office and refused to speak to anyone for the rest of the day. First day, it cost me 50 bucks. Second day, it cost me 30 bucks. Third day, it cost me 10 bucks. Still cost me money? Yep. What score did I make on that one last time? 4.8 out of 5. What does this show? You spend a few thousand bucks, you start getting better. Well, as simple as this technique sounds, it works. One woman went to my class and she said, you know what? My teenagers are so negative. I'm going to implement this with my kids when I go home. They are so negative. One dollar every time they make a bad comment and ten dollars for mommy and daddy. She sent me an email about six months later. The email said, you know what? I'm amazed at how much more positive my children have become. And then she said, I'm ashamed at how much money I have lost. She said, it became painfully obvious to me, where were my children picking this up? She said, I was very good about hearing this destructive comment in my kids. Not nearly so good at hearing it in myself. Thank you.